Hello YouTube, it's Chris and I'm back in the Bolt again today and hey, just something a little bit exciting. Uh, people ask me all the time about um, my top box and bike rack and how the effect is on my consumption. So today what we've got is, you know, we're in Vancouver, weather's been really nice and been getting incredible uh, consumption at 12.5 kilowatt hours per 100k. Very good. So today I've got the box on the top of the car. I've got the bike rack on the car and we're going to do highway speeds. So we're going to see what the effect is from um, the nice 12.5 kilowatt per hour I'm getting during daily commuting through Vancouver during the summer and what the effect is by having the box on. So I'm going to set everything to zero and then we'll get on the highway and uh, go a couple hundred kilometers and uh, see how it works out. Okay, so you can see there that um, our range right now, 322 kilometers is estimated. 12.5 uh, kilowatt hours per 100K is what we're seeing for consumption. So I've already went 140 kilometers. You can add that to the 320 and we're looking at about 460. That's really good. 460 uh, kilometers to a full charge is what the estimate is there. So let's see how that's affected with having that big box on the roof and the bike rack. Thanks. So yeah, it's been about a week since we went on that adventure and I uh, went over uh, basically over 500 kilometers that weekend with the top box on the roof, car full of people, two bikes on the back on the rack, doing highway speeds, 120 kilometers an hour. And uh, yes, consumption was definitely affected. Uh, we rose from 12.5 uh, kilowatt hours per 100k up to 19 kilowatt hours per 100k so realistically cost wise not a huge big difference you're talking about another maybe 80 cents to go uh, uh 100 kilometers with all that equipment on your bolt where that starts to hit you though is what we talk about all the time with electric cars is range you know um basically we have a 60 kilowatt hour battery so if you were using 30 kilowatts uh, hour 30 kilowatt hours per 100k you could go 200 kilometers on a full charge you get that down to 20 you can go 300 kilometers you get that down to 10 you could go 60 uh, um, sorry you get that down to 10 and you can go 600 kilometers so uh, if you can get down to 15 kilowatt hours per 100k you're going to be able to go 400 kilometers in your bolt if you can get that down to 12 and a half now you're starting to gauge around 500 kilometers uh, range in your bolt if you can if you can keep it below 12 and a half kilowatt hours per 100k. So that's just something to take uh, consideration. And you know what? That's even more reason why I like the Yakima Landing Pad 19 that allows you to remove that box and the rails all in one shot. Because um, when we got to our destination, of course, and now I'm using a 19 uh, kilowatt hours per 100k i took the whole box and rack and everything else off and went back to normal driving put the box back on when we got back on the highway and had to go home so that's really good the other thing is of course that huge big box on the roof of your bolt the bolt is basically silent so when you put a huge big box like that and rails on your your car you're going to hear the hum and the howl you get used to it of course um, when you're driving at highway speeds but you'll notice it almost immediately. So again, another big thumbs up for the Yakima rack system that allows you to take all that stuff off your car when you're not using it. And my recommendation, of course, for fuel economy or for consumption in a Chevrolet Bolt is to not have roof racks and not have boxes on your car, unless, of course, you're actually using them. Then it makes all the sense in the world. We wanna to try to use the car. You know, the, the thing with the Chevrolet Bolt is it, it can be your one car. You don't need to have two cars, an electric car for commuting and another car, you know, a big Chevy pickup or something to, to take the family on holidays. You should be able to do it all in one car if you're a little bit creative and um, and you can make it work for, for you. So anyway, I hope that helps. And to answer the questions, yeah. Range is affected by putting a huge big box on the top of your Chevrolet Bolt. Until next time, see ya.